Hi, I'm Nathan Harper. I'm the preserve archaeologist here at the Springs Preserve. Our gardens here at the Springs Preserve are ornamental in nature. We have pretty flowers, we have ornamental plants and other things. But what would you have to do if you had to survive on the plants you grew in your own garden? We're going to talk about that today here on Vegas Valley Water History. The Mojave Desert is a pretty harsh environment. It's a difficult place to live. You have to know where the plants are, you have to know where the water is, you have to know where the animals are going. And so it's very important, if you're an indigenous person who is living in this area, to have that knowledge, to understand the natural world around you. And so gardening in the past wasn't just about making things pretty or having nice flowers, it was about surviving, it was about bringing the natural world closer to you and being able to control it. So when we talk about gardening in the past, this is mostly about people trying to survive. Now, people who lived here before us, Southern Paiute people, the Nuwuvi people, and others who came before us, were masters of learning how to understand this environment and live in this environment. Their gardens were mostly around springs, naturally fed by waters or creeks. Sometimes they would have had irrigation ditches. Throughout the wider Southwest, even, you would have had rock field plantings. This is where piles of rocks would have been put in fields with bean plants planted underneath those. And the uh, rocks would have served as sort of an area where condensation could happen and would help water those plants naturally. Here in Southern Nevada, in this harsh environment that we live in today, before there was air conditioning, before there was automobiles, before there was even horses, indigenous people lived here on this land and survived by bringing the natural world to them in their gardens. Southern Paiute people, beyond being horticulturalists and garden people, were also hunters and gatherers. They went out in the natural world and gathered things like pine nuts and mesquite and willow and other things. Oftentimes, they would take those plants from those natural stands and they would bring them back to their homes, back to their gardens to grow uh, in their place so they didn't have to walk two miles, three miles, four miles to a stand of plants or a representative place where they could get those plants. From the archaeological record here at the Springs Preserve, we knew that Southern Paiute and Ancestral Puebloan peoples that lived here on our site grew corn, beans, squash, wheat, and also would have harvested things like Indian rice grass, mesquite pods, or pine nuts. That wide variety of foods led to a very rich diet. For today's gardeners, you can take some of those lessons we've learned from the Southern Paiute people about efficient planting, efficient watering, and the types of plants that are suited to this environment. We can learn those lessons from the Southern Paiute people and apply them to today's gardens. There are many lessons we can learn from Southern Paiute gardens, whether it's the plants they grew in this harsh environment or their efficient irrigation methods. You can learn all about these conservation methods and other things here at the Springs Preserve if you come out to our gardens and speak to one of our gardeners. We look forward to seeing you again on Vegas Valley Water History.